to Grain Soul Yoga. Today I'm going to do a short power yoga practice. So it's yoga with a little bit of a workout and it doesn't take very long at all. Just get your heart rate up, a little sweat maybe, at least body warming and a little stretch and then you're on with your day or on with your next activity. So I really like these short practices just to help us really feel like we got something in um, that day. And I love the power yoga because it just brings in like a whole nother level to our practice. So let's just warm up a little bit. Let's come onto our mats. We're going to stand with our feet about hip distance apart. You're going to be at the top of your mat. I'm just facing you for the moment. Let's go ahead and take a nice big inhale breath. In through the nose. Exhale, side through the mouth. Drop the hands. I'm just swaying side to side, letting my hips go. Just feeling my feet grounding. And then I'm going to start to come to stillness as my feet ground down. Just really feel like I'm rooting with the earth here. Start to lift the chest on the inhale, get more length in the spine, find a little arch in the back. Good. Bring the shoulders back over the hips on the exhale. A couple more. Good. Let's start to lift the gaze. Nice big inhale. Exhale, lower chin towards the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms, lift the gaze, warm the neck. Good. Release. One more time. Inhale. Good, come back just to standing, feet hip distance apart, standing mountain pose, just turn the head from side to side a couple of times, looking over right shoulder, looking over left. Back to center and tilting head side to side a couple of times. And then maybe rounding half circles. Go ahead and just round those shoulders out a couple times to the back, a couple times to the front, and kind of shake the arms around. We're going to pull those wrists out in front of us, like we're making little stop signs. Right hand grabs left fingertips and just gently, ever so gently pulls back. Other side. Good. Release. Shake it out. Round the wrist. Step really wide. Good. So our toes are slightly, ever so slightly turned out, not fully, just a little bit. We're just going to begin to bend one knee, straighten, bend, straighten. We want to take the hips back, like we're sitting down and back a little bit. Good, let's get deeper. You can begin to even lift those outer toes up a little bit. Warm those legs and hips up. Keep your core engaged. Keep the belly and chest lifted. Good, let's go three, two, and one, stand up nice and tall, fold forward, stretch out, let the hands come to the floor. All right, nice job. Go ahead, bring your hands back onto the hips, inhale, lift up, and walk those feet back together. Sweep the arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, long spine, forward fold. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, hands to the mat, step your right leg back. I'm just going to warm up with a nice low lunge here. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Right knees on the floor. We're going to find a little lift in the heart, arch in the back. Nice. Return the hands down and just step it forward. Forward fold. That halfway lift, shoulders are back from the ears. Exhale, take the left leg back, do the same thing here. Just drop the left knee down and curl the foot. Inhale the arms up. Now balance is a little tricky. You can stay here or find that arcing in the back as you lift the heart. Little back bend. Feel those hamstrings. I'm sorry, your quads. Other side of the leg. Good. Go ahead and drop those hands down. Let's pick it up and then step back down dog. Like this down dog to be moving. So we're in this inverted V shape and we're just going to bend one knee and then the other and just kind of pedal it out. And since we're in a power yoga mode, we might move a little quicker. Now, even though we're doing some power moves today or some workout moves, I want you to watch that breath. Try to keep it steady. Good. Low on down to those knees. All right. So what we want here is to have ourselves in kind of this diagonal shape here. So um, from the knees up to the head. Awesome. Good. Hold. Keep that core in. 
Good. Press back. Child's pose. Short one. Good. Now just begin to sway between those two. Nice and strong. Coming forward. Back. Forward. Back. Don't lock the elbows at any point. Fingers are just gripping the mat. Pull forward. Good. Bend the elbows back and slow lower yourself to the mat. Inhale. Let's take a cobra pose. Beautiful. Can you find downward facing dog? Curl the toes under, lift the hips. Good. Walk that dog again. Pressing down one heel, then the other. Like a quick walk. Excellent. Hold. Step forward. Forward fold. Lift those hips. Good. Now on an inhale breath, you're going to sweep the arms up, hips down, Utkatasana chair pose. All right. Breathe here. Come up under the toes, down to the heels. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keep going. Keep those arms up by the ears. Lower down and sink those hips down nice and deep. Pulse them. Five, four, three, two, one. Fold in half. Good. Take a break. Step your right leg back. Square your hips, the left knees over the left ankle, and inhale the crescent lunge now. All right. So we're up high in this crescent and nice and slow for the first one. We cactus the arms, bend the knee, lower down. Lift up. Good, start to move. Six more. And two. And one, hold low and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Hands are going to come down. You're going to straighten the left leg. Kick the right leg into the air. Standing split. Lower the right leg. Forward fold. Sweep the arms all the way up. Get nice and tall. We're going to do it on the other side. Exhale, swan dive, long spine fold. Step the left leg back. We're moving into crescent lunge. Right knee over the ankle or slightly behind. Arms up. Nice high lift here, and then we cactus and lower. Lift, lower. Three more. You guys gotta hold it down and pulse 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands come down. Kick that left leg up. Straighten your right leg. So root the right foot. Raise the left. Drop that foot down. Root the feet. Forward fold. Coming back into Utkatasana chair pose. Inhale. Sweep it up. Chair. Squeeze everything. Come onto the toes and then slide down until your glutes hit those heels if they can. And then slide up and slide down. Keep the thighs pressing inward, not separating. We've got two more. We're gonna hold down. Bring the hands to the mat. All right, nice job. And we're going to begin to step or hop if you've got the upper body strength back into a plank pose. Go ahead, hold. Go ahead, knees down. Child's pose, quick inner mission here. So we're gonna do a little plank work for the core here. Coming back into plank pose. On the toes if you can. Good. Press out through the heels. Lift the quads. Lift the belly. Pull the bum under. We're going to drop the right knee. Lift. 
tap, lift, switch it up, left, right. It's like walking the dog, just tapping, or even not even touching, but just hovering that knee. Good, let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees, take a break. Good, grip the mat, inhale, back to plank, right leg comes out, in, left, out, in, out, in, switch. Bums under, belly's in, shoulders strong, gazing out past your nose a little bit, keep going. Move at a pace that feels good to you. You can go slower. You can go faster. These are yours. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the knees. Set it back. Child's pose. Beautiful. Slow the breath a little bit. Heart rate might be up. Good. We're coming a little bit more towards tabletop here and stretching the right leg back. So, as the hands are down, I'm going to lift my right foot into the air. And I'll begin to kind of do this tricep dip here. So I'm going to bring my elbows back and dip my chest lower and my heel higher. Good. One more. Nice job. Now, curl your left toes under and pick yourself up into one-legged plank and pulse that right leg into the air. Good, heel towards the ceiling, toes pointing down. Nice, slow lower both knees. Child's pose for two breaths, it's a quick one. Close to tabletop, those wrists are just slightly in front of the shoulders. Left leg back, square the hips, lift the heel. Tricep push-ups, five. You don't have to go too low here. Listen to your body. Some days are better than others, right? Good, hold. Curl those toes under, pick it up, and pulse. Left heel up. Get into that glute. Nice job, knees down, child's pose. Breathe it out. Move all the way to downward facing dog on the inhale, hips high, heels low, heart back. Nice still down dog here. Stretch it all out. All right, nice job. So from here, we're going to take the right foot forward. You can walk the hands in just a little bit. So it's a little lizard lunge, right foot outside of right hand, straight back, down dog. Left foot, straight back, down dog. Keep going. Grip that mat. Stretch those hips. Work that body. Navel towards the spine. Let's go. Couple more. We're gonna land in that down dog after two more. One more each side. Down dog. Woo! Nice job. Walk it forward. Take a forward fold. Hang out here. Give those shoulder or wrists a little rounding if they need. Beautiful. Let's have some fun. Inhale. Sweep the arms all the way up overhead. We're gonna do this one slow. Exhale. Fold. Good. You're going to step your way back or hop your way back into a plank. Inhale. Hips lift. Down dog. Now, see about hopping your way forward. Bend those knees. Hips high. Hop forward. Good. Inhale. Sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale. Fold. Step or hop your way back. Down dog. Step forward or hop. Inhale, sweep the arms up. One more like that. Up, step or hop back. Down dog. Step or hop forward. Fold. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Yes. Exhale, standing mountain. 
down pose. Step your right foot back and turn out to the long edge of your mat, so with wide legs. All right, we're going to turn those toes out, heels in. Got a squat here. Start to get low. Keep your heart lifted. Lower. Look down. Knees are tracking towards the toes, right? Adjust your feet as much as you need to. All right. I love this one. Keep those hips down. Keep your heart lifted. Hands on the hips to start, and we just pick up one heel to the other. It's all that's moving. One heel, and then the other. Breathe. You can get a little dancey with it if you like. All right. Hold the heels down with the arms. Exhale, cactus the arms. Good. Knee towards elbow as you lift the heel. Can you move with it? Use your obliques. I feel like I'm in a cartoon, right? You can make funny faces. All right. Hold still in the middle. Lift both heels. Good. Sink those hips. Knees out. Breathe and pulse. Hold. Keep going. Hold those heels up. Guys, we're halfway. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold down. Get a little shaky. Oh, drop the heels. Lift the arms. Woo. Exhale. Fold. Turn the toes back towards the long edge of the mat, fold in. Good, walk the hands to the right, bend into the right knee. Good, you can stay here, lift it up a little bit or drop all the way down, lift the left toes. Right glute to the right heel. All the way through center. Back to the other side. So remember, you can stay a little lifted or drop all the way down. You can move your hands to a balance if you'd like. Nice work. All the way back to center. Nice deep fold. Hands onto the hips. Inhale. Use the legs to help lift you as you spread that mat apart. Nice. Hop in. Nice. Right foot across the left. Good. Lean over to the left. And move it to the other side, left foot across the right, lean to the right, yes, unwind back to center, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, exhale, hands to the heart, two more like that, inhale, sweep up, exhale, hands heart, inhale, reach up, exhale, Let's hold here in center. Close the eyes down, breathe. All right, this is a great place. If you're out of time, pause the video, go on about your day. Otherwise, I'm going to give you a quick cool down stretch and a shavasana. So, up to you. Good. If you're coming with for the rest of the video, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale to fold. Let this fold be a transition. Hands to the mat. Step your way down to your knees and all the way back to a child's pose and take your forehead to the mat. Breathe. I want you to work on slowing your breath here, finding your breath. Good. Walk your hands all the way to the right and place your left hand on top of the right. Stretch out the side body. Walk the hands all the way through center, over to the left, right hand on top of left if it'll reach, pull the right hip back. And walk it back to center, come up to tabletop position with your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and let's go for about five to six rounds of cat-cow as you inhale the belly low, sweep your chest forward, open your sit bones, exhale round the spine. And 
Last one. Come back to your flat back. Walk the knees forward. Cross the ankles. Sit down and bend the knees. Soles of the feet to touch. Take your right arm behind you and your left elbow outside the right thigh and take a little twist looking over your right shoulder. Let's go to the other side. Right elbow to left thigh, left fingertips back, looking over left shoulder. Trying to keep those knees in nice alignment here. All right, back to the center. Tuck your hips closer to your heels, as close as you can, and then roll on back down to the floor. Heels close to the glutes. You might even be able to touch the fingers to the heels. And then inhale, lift, bridge pose, lift the hips up, the back, work your way up onto the shoulders, roll the shoulders under you, cross the hands if you can, and tuck the knuckles down towards the heels, hugging thighs inward, chest towards chin, neck long on the mat. Good, release the clasp, unroll the shoulders, and slow lower one vertebrae at a time, keeping a little tuck in the pelvis as you come down. Walk the feet forward, one footprint, open your arms wide, and then just begin to drop knees side to side. Excellent. Last one. Come back to center. Tuck both knees to your chest and just rock and massage your back. Beautiful work today. Nice, quick, powerful stretch and strength practice. Go ahead and bring your feet back to the mat. Stretch out. Take up some space. Reset the mind. Reset the breath. Hopefully we reset the body. Good, just let it go. Sigh your way into deep relaxation, melting down into the floor and breathe here. In and out through the nose if you can. In and out. In and out. We move in and we move out. Feel the breath come in. Feel the breath exhale out. Feel fresh life energy come in. Feel the stale, old release out. Each breath making us feel more alive, more whole. more refreshed, more renewed. Stay as long as you would like, or wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring a smile across your face. Roll onto your side. Take your way all the way back up to a seat. Cross your legs, Sukhasana, crisscross applesauce, find your sit bones, hands to the heart. Three times in your mind, mantra, I am powerful. I am powerful. I am powerful. Good, when we all use our power to our greatest good and to the good of humanity, acting in love and grace, the light of me honors and salutes the light within you. Thank you for coming with me on this short power yoga journey. Have a fantastic rest of your day.